So it's pretty common as a mother to have moments when you feel completely out of control. <laughs> when you're working with or spending all your time with your children, you might have multiple children, and children are running on an internal motivation. They're not really conscious a lot of the time of the needs of other people. They're moving fast paced, their world is quick and in the moment and changing rapidly. And all of that can really challenge our need for control. And that need for control is an incredibly valid core instinctual need. It's like, it's that base need. Like we need to have our safety, our security, our stability in check before we can even consider meeting other needs. We need to feel in control of our life. If you look at the core needs in so many of the psychological models, usually the fundamental base core need in any of these models is the need for certainty, the need for control, the need for safety, that sort of fundamental drive. So we're not suggesting that you get rid of that need because it's not possible. So instead of trying to shift that need, we need to look at the ways that we're trying to get that need met and the ways that we're focusing on getting that need met. And generally, when we're feeling stressed out, we go outwards. We try to get our need met in everyone else. We try to control other people, try to control our kids, try to control the environment. And that will pretty much let us down because we can't, um, in a definite way, we can't guarantee that we can control things outside of ourselves. And controlling other people is actually extremely detrimental for your relationships. So it's even while you're trying to meet that need, you're going to be, um, your other needs are going to be falling over for the relationship and the connection with your children. So what we're talking about is coming back to meeting that need for control, for certainty within yourself. And that's about being the person you need to be in order to meet that need for control. So this is looking at that need for control from a totally different perspective and focusing first within, meeting the need internally. Mm. So how can you yourself meet your need for routine, if that's one of them, or control, or a clean space, or order, or whatever else is coming up for you around the controlling issue. How can you meet that yourself? How can you own that and take responsibility for your own needs? So that once you get into that space of starting to meet those needs internally, you can start to request for support externally at that point. And because you're meeting your needs, you've owned them and you're being taking responsibility for them, you're going to take the edge off that manic triggered craziness that comes with it when you just feel like you can't Everyone do what I say right now because I can't cope with the chaos. Yeah. Kind of okay, so you've started to meet your needs internally, now you can turn externally. Because you've already started meeting them internally, you can come at it from a much calmer approach, you'll be heard a lot more clearly, and that whole flow, you'll just get those needs met even more. So the practice for this video or the takeaway is when you feel yourself being driven by the need to control, to control the environment, to control your children, to control the people around you, to stop and take a breath and ask yourself any one of these questions. So the first one is, how can I meet my needs for control from within? How can I meet my needs to control the environment by controlling what I can myself. Or how can I meet that need for security, for control, for stability in the way that I show up in the world? How can I meet it in the way I show up before I even venture to look outside of myself? How can I create my own sense of certainty, my own sense of routine, my own sense of serenity? And how can I feel more in control in myself right now before I make any requests of anybody else? Okay, 
guys, so that's your practice for this video. Thank you for staying to the end. <laughs> Until next time, see you later. Bye. <laughs> You've had enough of a practice. We weren't fully clear on this practice. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I mean, it is. It is it's I don't think we can to... edit this because you're like, don't forget starting sentence.